Hey, tax season is still in full swing. We have the experts in house to help you have a smart tax management style. We'll explain. Quieres pagar tus deudas, deshacerte de ellas es mucho más fácil de lo que te imaginas. Plus, we have the local owners of Marcos Pizza and Tropical Smoothie. We're going to learn about their businesses and how First Light helped. ¿Estás pensando en comprar casa? Tenemos los mejores tips para hacer tu sueño realidad. All that and much more. I'm Sidney Alvarez. Y yo soy Polen Murguía. ¿Listos para empezar? That's right. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to another great episode of Get Lit with First Night. We have an amazing show, don't we, Paulette? Un show padrísimo. Muy emocionada por el día de hoy. Absolutely. You know, we're in March, and March is Women's History Month. What does Women's History Month mean to you? Para mí es un mes que me inspira muchísimo porque hace no mucho tiempo las mujeres no tenían los mismos derechos de ahora como votar, tener acceso a una educación y el día de hoy ver esa igualdad de género eh, pues me llena de mucha ilusión el hecho de que podemos estar aquí juntos mm -hmm. y es mi mes favorito. You know, when I think of Women's History Month, there's so many women in history that, you know, that I personally look up to, but you don't have to look very far from outside of El Paso, Las Cruces. And and I turn to our CEO. We have a new CEO, Margie Salazar, and she was uh, honored by Irvin High School. Her She went to Irvin. And um, also by EPISD, you can see in the video that's playing, uh, she was just speaking to the students and they were just in awe. Y ver esa energía, ver la cara de los estudiantes inspirados por ahí en especial las mujeres de saber de que sí se puede tú también puedes ser una CEO para mí esa energía fue fue increíble haber visto eso so are there any women in your life that, that you look up to that, that, that mean something to you muchísimas serían mis don't cry no voy a llorar pero serían yo creo mis tías mis amigas pero si tengo que nombrar a tres diría que mi mamá mi abuela de 98 años uh -huh. y mi hermana. Ellas uh, son mis tres pilares que, que me dan fuerza día a día. Oh, that's awesome. For me, it'd be my mom and my sister. Absolutely. You know, something else that First Light was involved in was um, the oath ceremony for citizenships that take place at the El Paso County Coliseum. Just amazing the emotion that was there. You can see the, the pictures that we're showing right now on the screen. I mean, so many people excited. What an accomplishment, right? Si ves los videos, realmente a mí se me pone la piel chinita de ver a esas personas eh, celebrando un gran logro, ver que ya por fin son ciudadanos y porque sé que el proceso toma tiempo, mm -hmm. así que también una energía padrísima. Let's talk about tax season and reducing your debt. Joining us here at the table is Eddie Oropesa. Did I say that right, Eddie? Correct, yes, sir. Uh, he's here to share some smart tax management tips. También se encuentra con nosotros María de Jesús Ortiz Frausto, que nos viene a platicar de que sí te puedes deshacer de esas deudas que quizá te están molestando y unos tips padrísimos. So, uh, MDJ, please forgive us. We're going to start with Eddie, if that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Eddie, you have some tips for us when it comes to filing our taxes. But first, tell us what is smart tax management. Uh, smart tax management, just having all your files in place, getting your W-2s, Finding a preparer, right? Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes looking back at your prior tax returns that you had from prior years and having all that documentation, your personal information, have that all in line so when you do meet with the tax preparer, you're ready to go, ready to rock and roll. See, we got we to gotta get organized. Yes. <laughs> so, so we know that the first tip is making sure that you pay the right amount. So tell us more about that. But tip number one would be pay the right amount. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that is some... If you're, if you're receiving a tax refund of, say, $2,000, give or take, um, that's technically $166 extra in taxes that was taken out every single month for the prior year. So you kind of kind of pick what you want. Do you rather have that tax refund at the when you're filing your taxes, or would you rather have the $166 on a monthly basis that's not taken out? Right, right. Well, and we know that also members have, men, members of first, they have the, a benefit of filing their taxes, right? Is it with a TurboTax? Yes, so uh, we partnership with uh, TurboTax, and you're more than welcome to go to our First Light website, mm -hmm. and we have that uh, available for you to look at. So, Eddie, let's talk about tax deductions. Mm -hmm. There is a ton of them. Mm -hmm. 
So tax deductions and credits, uh, you, again, get being prepared, right? Mm -hmm. So making sure you have all your receipts, making sure you have all your school expenses that you paid for, mm -hmm. um, charitable donations that you gave out, all your W-2s, um, and even medical expenses and things of that nature, and your um, med all the medical items. But make sure to include that when you are filing. Awesome. Good to know. Do you think that it's important to meet with a financial counselor at, at First Light? Yes. So we have a bunch of, we have many financial advisors at First Light Federal Credit Union. Um, they can look at seeing how they can make your money grow, right? And the whole idea is to whatever your refund that you're receiving to make that grow and use it very wisely. They'll look at paying off debt for you. Maybe that's the best mm -hmm. option. But if they need to grow in savings, then they can set you up with the right plan to grow that money and make your money work for you. You said the word debt. I thought MDJ was going to jump in immediately. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, girl. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but not the financial advisor is going to look at all those options and see how what's the best way to make your money make money. Absolutely. You know, this kind of goes in the last tip that you're going to share with us. Um, talking about share certificates. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, and and that, what do you do with your with your income tax if, if you're yeah with your income tax if you get one right a refund. Mm -hmm. So there's many options that you can do if, when you are receiving your tax refund. But at First Life Federal Credit Union, we do have share certificates. Right. Right now we're offering a 4.33 APY, mm -hmm. wow. uh, risk free. You need to have it for one year with us, and it's a $500 minimum deposit. But that share certificate, put that money in there, see it grow, and see your money work for you, and see your refund work for you. Absolutely. That's Thank great. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You have till April 15th, unless you want to file an extension. Okay. Well, we have MDJ and she's here to talk to us about how you can pay off your credit card debt fast. Go ahead. So I dare I'm, you. I'm very, very excited. Me dieron 30 segundos, amigos. So nada más asegúrense, paguen la tarjeta de crédito y ya. Me dijo sería córtale. Thanks for being on the show. No, no, no. We're just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sabemos que, que el primer tip que nos vienes a platicar es que tenemos que ser realistas en cuanto a fijar esa cantidad mensual que quieres pagar en tu tarjeta. Platícanos un poquito más de cómo funciona a eso. Sí, claro que sí, mira, muchas veces decimos, ay, este cheque puedo, la pago, son 500, pago los 500, pero hay que ser realistas, ¿qué deudas tenemos? ¿O qué uh -huh. dinero puede que necesitemos? Entonces, cuando vamos a pagar esa tarjeta de crédito, hay que ver realísticamente cuánto es lo que puedo pagar sin que me afecte en todo uh -huh. lo que tengo y en caso de una emergencia, o sea, que no me vaya a afectar de que ya di los 500 de pago, y luego, ¿cómo le voy a hacer? Ya no tengo todo el mes para poner gas. Entonces, right. hay que ser realistas con lo que podemos pagar. So, MDJ, you say, declare a moratorium on cash, on your credit. Use cash. Yes. So, you know, it's really easy when you have that card for you mm -hmm. just to spend and spend because you're not seeing how much it is that you're spending. Y no so sientes, you're like, ¿verdad? Es no. como nomás pasa la tarjeta sí. y no se siente ah, a sí. que está. Otra vez, otro shopping spree. Sí, but that's so hard because who uses cash, right? It's, it's, it's tough. It's hard, but if it's something, you, you have to know yourself, you know? You have to know yourself. If you have your credit card and you know that when you have your card, if you go out and spend on everything that you see, mm -hmm. then you should know it's be better for you to use cash than to in your credit card right. so know yourself you know and be realistic with yourself don't lie to yourself you know um you know it's like me saying oh yeah i you know i have my credit card and i won't use it for anything no that's not being realistic if i have my card i know i'll stop by starbucks get breakfast at mcdonald's <laughs> get lunch at applebee's or somewhere else you know so be realistic about it yes. you know i know we've talked about this before and paulette has brought it up one thing that i like to do is specifically when it comes to lunch or breakfast I take that money out in cash, what mm -hmm. I need for the week. Uh, very smart. Once, yeah. see, very once smart. it's done, that's it. I don't get no more food. So if you wasted on Wednesday, <laughs> nothing for Thursday yeah, and Friday. That's it. Me llevo mi lunch. Es cuestión de, de hacer ese hábito. Y, y bueno, that's sabemos que, que el último tip que nos vienes a dar es que cuando tengamos oportunidad de pagar más, lo hagamos. Platícanos. Pay more, eso. right? Claro que sí. Aunque sean cinco dólares más que pagues, porque eso se va a ir a, a lo principal que tienes en esa deuda y va a ser menos interés el que vas a pagar. Entonces, muchas veces pedimos, digamos, dos mil dólares en la tarjeta de crédito y nada más dando el mínimo dice uno, ah, nada más son 25 dólares lo que tengo que pagar. Sí, pero vas a venir pagando esa deuda 10 años y van a ser como dos mil más lo que vas a pagar en el interés. Entonces, si pagas más del mínimo, y te digo, si puedes este mes, ¿sabes qué? Este mes me quedaron 100 más a la tarjeta vas a reducir el tiempo en lo que vas a estar pagando esa tarjeta y el interés que vas a pagar. And maybe even just rounding up, right? Yeah. 
if yeah, you gotta, if you, yeah, yeah, like yeah, if you uh-huh. have to pay like you know, I, I don't know, four twenty seven, round it up to four fifty. Yeah, even like I said, even if it's you know one dollar, five dollars that you can do extra, do it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Muchas MDJ gracias. and Eddie. As always, Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate both of your time. Uh, MDJ, I hope I gave you enough time. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more, but I guess <laughs> next episode. Uh, thank you so much. And for more information, you can actually go to our balance program. Um, it gives you, uh, uh, it gives you There's calculators webinars in there and calculators. As well. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much. It's time for our first break. Uh, when we come back, we have the local owners of Marco's Pizza and Tropical Smoothie. We're going to learn about their businesses and how first. Si estás pensando en comprar casa, tenemos todos los tips que puedes utilizar para cuando estás comprando tu casa y que no sea solo un sueño, sino que se haga realidad. All that coming up. Hey, you two. So, you've been saving for your dream home? Or perhaps saving to build a home of your own? Maybe it's time for a change. Now is a great time to apply for a First Light mortgage and save up to $3,500 on your closing cost. Apply now and remember, First Light Federal Credit Union. Your better credit union. Welcome back, everybody. Are you thinking of buying a home? How do you get started? And is it the right time? Tenemos el día de hoy con nosotros a Mónica Mir. Ella tiene una gran experiencia alrededor de 20 años y nos viene a platicar todo sobre cómo comprar una casa, cómo sacar un préstamo para tu casa. Ella es una mortgage loan officer, así que bienvenida y gracias por estar con nosotros hoy. Yeah, thank you, thank and we're super me. excited to have you here. Thank you. So, okay, let's get down to business. What's the first thing that you need when you're buying a home? I was told that you need a pre-qualification letter. Yes, so I've been in the mortgage business for many years. And so I know that being pre-qualified is the most important thing that you can do. Uh, Having your pre-qualification is going to tell your real estate agent that you're already backed by a financial institution. So um, having your pre-qualification letter is like having a gold star. Um, on your forehead. On your forehead. Muy bien. Yes. <laughs> and Lo mejor so, que te puede pasar, yo creo, en el proceso, ¿no? Es algo que, <laughs> sí, tengo mi pre-qualification. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, when you show your pre-qualification letter, and, um, for example, if the other uh, potential buyers mm-hmm. are not pre-qualified, well, that gives you the advantage that you have, that you need. And can you talk to us a little bit more about down payments? Um, what kind of money do you need to put down for a home? So here at First Light, we know that we're a hardworking community, Mm -hmm. and so we want to be able to make home buying a reality. Um, You don't need a lot of money. Uh, We do have programs that will allow you to come in with as little as 3% down. Wow. Um, Wow. Yeah. So, well, because I remember, like, I always thought that you need to put 20% down or something, but no, that's not the case. Right. So that's no longer the case. Uh, there's several programs that we have available for first-time home buyers, and so you don't have to come in with a lot of money. Can we talk a little bit about renting? So El Paso, Las Cruces, it's a big renter's market. So tell me about renting versus owning a home. So um, as you know, uh, rental payments are definitely increasing. And so uh, when you're renting, you're throwing your money away. Uh, mm-hmm. When you purchase a home, you're purchasing an investment. That's so, true, right? Because when you, when sí, you pay the rent, you're giving, it, you're giving your money to somebody else. Exactly. Lo estás pagando y es tu casa o estás invirtiendo ese dinero. Yeah, you're not investing in yourself. You're not investing in your property. Exactly. Exactly. So it's an investment. Bueno, yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, ¿Cuánto se necesita para los gastos de cierre para cuando tramitas una casa? O en inglés sería, what kind of money is needed for closing costs? So, uh, we at First Light know that we are a hardworking community. And mm-hmm. so, people think that they need a lot of money to come in with closing costs. 
The average closing cost in El Paso is approximately $6,000. Um, and so right now we're having a promotion where we can assist you with up to $3,500. Oh my gosh, closing. that's more than half. Yeah. Eso es más de la mitad, $3,500 para tus gastos de cierre. Es, so, es bastante. Uh, is, is this for first-time home buyers? It's or? for anybody. As, oh, long wow. as, as long as it's for your residential home, your homestead. You can take advantage of that promotion. Oh my gosh, si that is awesome. Si te pones a pensar, es, es un gran ahorro. Hemos estado hablando sobre cómo reducir deudas y mm -hmm. todo un, un show muy emocionante en todos los temas, pero esto sí que se me queda bien grabado. Tres mil quinientos dólares es es muchísimo. Yeah, that, that, that's ayuda. that's actually that's just tremendous. Right. Absolutely. So, what if you are a homeowner? Okay, what can we do with the home's equity? So uh, right now is a good time because um, the weather is changing, and so Paulette was doing yard work. <laughs> yes, <laughs> really. Oh my God, the weather is changing. So um, springtime is coming, and a lot of people are thinking about doing home improvements. And so if you're thinking of maybe adding a patio or a swimming pool, uh, you can de definitely take advantage of the equity in your home. Uh, you can borrow up to 80% of the value of your home for that. Can we talk about the market? Okay. So um, when I was looking for a home last year, I remember there'd be like 10 offers on one home. And I'm like, no way. I'm not even going to deal with that. that. That's ridiculous. Is the market changing right now? Is it now a buyer's market versus a seller's market? Right. So two years ago during COVID, as we all know, the Sellers uh, were getting offers, 20 or more offers on their home. Can you imagine? They would put it out on the market. So buyers were having a hard time, um, you know, getting into a home. Uh, it's not the case anymore. It's actually leaning more towards borrow uh, to buyers. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is. There's more inventory. Easier. Yes, which is better, right, than putting 20 offers for definitely. A house. And you don't see the the prices increase as much as well. Thank you so much for that information. If people want to get uh, more information from First Light about um, the mortgage department, where can they go? They can reach us uh, at our mortgage line at 915-562-1172 or on our website at firstlightfcu.org. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's Thank time you for much. another break, you guys. Se encuentra con nosotros el día de hoy los dueños y empresarios de Marcos Pizza y My Tropical favorite. Smoothie. Deliciosos, <laughs> los tienen que probar y, y nos vienen a dar todos los tips en cómo abrir tu propio negocio. That story, Camille. No matter how much you prepare, sometimes you find yourself in an emergency. Cars break down, medical bills pop up, roofs leak, or you simply have more month than money. It can be stressful to pay for expenses like these. Express Loans provide the funds you need, day or night. Applying is simple. Upon approval, the money is deposited into your account in as little as 60 seconds. Crisis averted. The unexpected doesn't have to ruin your day. First Light Federal Credit Union. Your better credit union. Welcome back, everyone. We have two amazing guests joining us here at the table, as you can see. We have the local owners of Marco's Pizza, my favorite, and Tropical Smoothie. Please allow me to introduce uh, Patricia Warnock. Thank you for being here on the show. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. And we also have Caleb Warnock, and welcome to the show. Yes, I second that. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys... Uh, I have to tell you, I've tried both of your products, okay? And I'm very familiar with, with your products. But can you guys tell us, and those viewers who may not be familiar, tell us about Marco's Pizza and Tropical Smoothie. All right, so Marco's Pizza is originally from Toledo, Ohio. The owner was Pat Gianmarco, who is from Italy. And he brought it to Toledo, where I'm from. Uh, when I got to El Paso, I thought it was absolutely, uh, the pizza industry was good. We went to Peter Piper's. That's one of the high recommendations out here. So uh -huh. um, I wanted to bring over Marco so that you guys uh, could expect it. But plus, I loved it so much that I wanted to bring it to El Paso. And when we did, uh, it's done very well. We've been able to grow it to three restaurants and the community uh, has has enjoyed it as much as I did. So, And, and you know, uh, I've had the, the privilege <clears throat> of speaking to you both. Your dough is fresh. It is. Right? We make it in-house. We make our sauce in-house. We use the freshest ingredients that we, we possibly can, uh, it, and we deliver. Uh, some, some people don't know we deliver because of, of the quality of the pizza and, uh 
to be able to get that type of quality while you deliver is, is difficult to do. Um, but because we do everything in house, it's pretty fantastic. Have you had their pizza? I've had it. It's absolutely Isn't it delicious. delicious. We yeah. were there celebrating uh, National, National pizza, pizza Day. Day. It was so and cool. And giving out pizza to our members, and I was able to have a slice and. So good. Okay, so, so we're yakking about Marco's Pizza, but then there's Tropical Smoothie. And yes, yes, that's also it. awesome, too. Yes, I love Tropical Smoothie. Uh, we always wanted to bring, like, a healthy concept. Mm -hmm. That was our beginning idea. So we found Tropical Smoothie. We fell in love with it. And... Um, Honestly, until these days, I try the smoothies, and it's like if I try it the first time. So, <laughs> What's yeah. your favorite? Uh, sunrise Sunset. You, why? Why that one? It's sweet and sour. Oh, okay. At the same time. Okay. So it's a little bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> sweet and sour. Yeah, I saw Jacob's eyeballs. I mean, I saw <laughs> Caleb's eyeballs go on. Huh? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Qué consejo nos darías eh, para alguien que quiere abrir su propio negocio? La verdad, yo pienso que estar consciente de que va a ser mucho trabajo. Mucha gente piensa que abrir un negocio es solo uh, para mandar a la gente, pero en realidad tú eres como dueño, tú eres el que trabajas más. Y depende de ti si lo quieres, eh, si quieres que sea muy exitoso, va a depender de cuánto trabajas tú. It's a great segue into <coughs> our follow-up question because people, if you're wondering why do we have the owners of Marco's Pizza here and Tropical Smoothie, well, the answer is simple. It's because they're members of First Light Federal Credit Union. Can you guys share with us a little bit how First Light uh, helped you in, in this business endeavor? Well, uh, at the end of the day, when we first started, we, we didn't have any money. We were, we, we were almost broke. Uh, and first, all the banks no, had told almost. us... And we were broke. <laughs> and everybody told us no. Um, everybody, everybody told us no. And uh, I went to, again, Rudy Ibarra. I'm going to keep uh, referencing him. Because He's in our business services department at First Light. Fantastic individual. And I asked him, I said, look, everybody keeps telling us no. What do we need to do in order to get you to say yes? And he kind of took a step back and he said, all right, well, here you go. And he set us uh, a step-by-step -step plan as to what we would need to do in order to get the bank to say yes. And we followed through with it. And... Now we were able to get our first store open, and and you guys did some magic. I mean, there were some things that you guys did that uh, was unusual for for in a normal case, but the flexibility that he had and the creativity that was used was was something that you don't usually get at other banks. So I really appreciated that. Yeah, I know Paulette has has a, a question for you, but I just wanted to ask you really fast. On that note, what does that feel like? You had all these financial institutions that told you no, mm -hmm. and then you come to First Light, and they said, you know what? We're going to believe in them. We're going to help them. And now, look at how many businesses you have. Can you give me some insight into that? Well, um, first, it's it's great. When somebody finally says yes, it's great. When somebody no says no, it does irritate me and push harder. And you can ask that with Patty. She told me no like four times before she finally said yes. So. <laughs> He's yeah. very persistent. I'm very persistent. <laughs> uh, but it, it's great. Honestly, it's a, that's what we've really enjoyed with First Light, and that's why we've continued to do business uh, with First Light as we continue to grow. They have uh, First Light has quite a bit of our different projects and, and different things that we've done because of, of what they're able to bring to the table. So we really appreciate it. Awesome. And I have a question. I'm going to do it in Spanish and in English. So, um Sabemos que ustedes dos son, son grandes empresarios. We know that you're both great entrepreneurs. And you opened the spa. Acaban de abrir un spa. Can you give us more details about it? We'll be there later. Yes. <laughs> I need a massage. Do you need one? <laughs> yes, of course. No, tell us about your new... Yeah, you have some new endeavors coming up, too. Of course. Um, Hen and Stone, we love Hen and Stone. I am so in love with the brand, and I'm so in love with the welcoming. And, the, and um, we're always busy. You know, everybody's always busy. But uh, Hen and Stone makes you to have a self-care, like a mm -hmm. to slow down for a little bit and take care of yourself. So that is what Hen and Stone it is. You can get a facial, you can get a massage, you can get um, a slimming, and we have different, different types of um, services. Mm -hmm. So what we like when we travel, Caleb and I, we are always looking for a massage, you know, a massage place. Because that is kind of our, our time to, to relax. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And um, we found Hen and Stone and we were like, oh, my God, we have to bring it to El Paso. This is amazing. It's very affordable. And um, that's what we like to bring to El Paso, affordable stuff. A stuff that I know El Paso ones are going to enjoy. So can we uh, just kind of drop where all of your locations are? Tell us about, so let's talk, start with uh, Marco's Pizza. Where are they? 
Uh, we've got one on the east side on Rich Beam and Edgemere, and then we've got one in the northeast on uh, 4830 Trans Mountain, northeast. Go mm-hmm. northeast. By the way, I live in the northeast. northeast. The northeast. I was about to say <laughs> east side. Which, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we've got one on the uh, west side, which is on um, Wrestler and Paseo del Norte. And your tropical smoothie locations? We have one on Zaragoza and Pelicano, uh, Edgemere and Yobaro, uh, Mesa and Solon Park, um, one uh, West Star Tower, mm-hmm. um, Cimarron Plaza, mm-hmm. um, and Quite a Northeast, few. the Northeast, yeah, the Fountains, fountains. the and Fountains of Fara. And your spa? The spa is at Solon Park and Mesa Hills. So you guys, yes, go ahead. No, so just wanted to touch base on... on why we do everything we do in, in El Paso. Uh, one, uh, again, I want to thank First Light for allowing us to be able to have the capability of doing it. But El Paso is amazing. Uh, it really is. It's an Absolutely. island in the desert that is uh, beautiful and fantastic, and the people are warm and welcome. And to be able to bring businesses are that are community-oriented, family-oriented, but also different and uh, have the great quality of product at the affordable price is something that we were doing when we got here. And that's something that we, you know, when I, I would talk to Patty and say, we're missing this, uh, and I want to do this, and I want to do this. And where, where we were able to do it is we, we, we did. We were able to make it happen, and, and we wouldn't have been able to do it again Without first light, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna keep giving shout outs here because we really do appreciate awesome, everything awesome, you guys awesome. to the table. So you know, I, it may sound a little, uh, maybe a little redundant, but why would you recommend first light? <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'll, uh, I'll say it again: is that the customer service uh, that you do you get good customer service in other banks? Don't get me wrong, but the customer service that you get from first light is unprecedented. I, I have never had it what I get at First Light anywhere else. Number two, which is unique to First Light that most people don't understand, is their web base, uh, their ability to handle business online is actually quite a bit, uh, the quality of it is, is quite a bit better than mm-hmm. a majority of banks that I've worked with, whether it's Wells Fargo or Citibank or et cetera. Even the larger banks, uh, they just don't. That's when we bleep things. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm giving it, because uh, I work with a bunch of different banks, and my favorite, truly my favorite to work with, especially on online, is with First Light. Uh, we're able to communicate and get things done very quick and very fast where we don't have issues uh, get, making it happen. And that's very, I was actually really surprised because First Light is a credit union. It's locally based. For them to be able to be at a higher level than some of these national vendors is is. I give my props. It's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for for joining us here on the program. Continued success to you both and to your family. And um, we're just super excited that we're able to speak with folks such as yourselves that can encourage uh, business growth and really just share your story with all of us. So thank you so much. Okay. Thank thank you. you. Thank Thank you you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, that's our show. If you have questions or comments about our program, you can email us. Our email is getlitwithfirstlight at firstlightfcu.org. It's a little long. Getlitwithfirstlight at firstlightfcu.org. We'd love to hear from you. Y recuerden que nuestro show sintoniza todos los sábados a las 11 de la mañana en el CW. Nos pueden encontrar también en YouTube como Get Live with First Light. Y si quieren escucharlo como un podcast, también pueden a través de Spotify. Así que estamos en, en todas las plataformas. No se olviden, es Get Live with First Light. Yo soy Paul Murguía. And I'm Sidney Alvarez. Thanks for watching. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima.